Today we have uh, some baby back ribs that we have cooked and we're cutting down. Uh, they're going to be touched with a little bit of barbecue sauce. They get served with a uh, homemade corn muffin and uh, a side of coleslaw. Meals on Wheels wanted to have more control over the menu and the food quality that they're delivering to their clients. At Open Arms, this is, uh, this is our skill set. This is something we've been doing for many, many years uh, and, and doing it very well, I believe. And so uh, that, that partnership blossomed, I think, fairly easily. We had a strategic planning process over three years ago where we convened uh, stakeholders in the community, our member organizations, our board members, and other folks involved with senior services. And at that point, recognized that there's three important aspects to what we should be doing as an organization. Uh, the first is providing excellent customer service. Uh, the second is promoting the Meals on Wheels advantage. And the third is providing outstanding meals. At Open Arms in Minnesota, we really strive to uh, deliver on the promise and, and deliver on the idea that food is medicine. We really w were looking for leaders in the sector, uh, folks that serve a lot of meals. They do over a half a million meals a year, uh, and then but also have uh, a real uh, focus on quality and uh, healthy meals so that people can recover from the chronic illnesses uh, that, they, that they're uh, dealing with when they're served by open arms. And that's really not a lot, lot different than what seniors are dealing with. When I was brought on board uh, just to help get this project off the ground, uh, we formed a menu committee. And those are representatives from Meals on Wheels and from Open Arms, as well as, uh, so we have our, our uh, chef in the kitchen here, uh, who's an integral part of that. The part that continues to keep me going is, is the fact that, that you, you are helping out people that are in need and, um, and, and working with uh, Open Arms and, and being brought on board to, to help out with this venture for Meals on Wheels is, is just it's exciting to me. We recognize that preparing our own meals and bringing the, the preparation in-house and the menu development and, and all the aspects of the food preparation and delivery uh, would really allow us to offer the best service and the best quality meals in the community. We were very confident that this was the way to go for a lot of reasons. A, so we could have some control and some collaborative control over the, the distribution and creation and, and how we do meals here in our community. And because we feel that if we're collaborative, we could um, and enjoy some cost savings as well as an, a huge improvement in quality. This kitchen was created to produce meals for Meals on Wheels. Um, so that's, that's half the battle. We know we're going to get the quality of food we want. It's going to be packaged the way that we need it packaged. Um, and the cost is going to be as good as it can possibly be. The clients are really enjoying the changes. Um, they love the new menus. They love the fact that so many of the dishes have an additional spice or an additional seasoning that just make it taste that much better. We are adding in the, the freshest ingredients that we possibly can. Uh, our fresh fruit salad is, is just that, it's fresh fruit. Um, our corn muffins, we're doing those right from scratch, um, which, which just, just adds to the overall flavor um, and, and the, the quality. One of the things that, that really drove this project is we have an increasingly diverse senior population in the Twin Cities, so we'd love to be able to uh, meet the needs of, our, of our, our neighbors, no matter what their religious or geographic background is. I just think it's a great thing that, that's being done. I think that um, some people that, um, that aren't normally getting a uh, nutritious meal or eating very well at all are getting a really awesome meal. We have a, a registered dietitian on staff who, uh, who helps us with uh, making sure that we are meeting the nutritional goals and needs uh, of our clients. In the senior um, living segment, um, those folks, they, they appreciate, they really do appreciate and you can feel that they appreciate at the end of the day. So there's just that instant gratification at the end of the day that you've done well um, and that you were, you were able to you know, serve somebody that um, enjoyed what you did.